so much pain in my soul It's so hard to let go But the God that I know Never ever let me go So much pain in my soul It's so hard to let go But the God that I know Will never ever let me go You'll be happy when you actually let go. And all your anger, your depression, your anxiety is probably coming from the fact that you're trying to control something you were never meant to. Hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop scrolling. If this came up on your for you page, this probably for you. You need to everybody. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, cast down all your cares unto him for he cares for you. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what's been on your mind. I don't know what you've been worrying about. I don't know what you've been depressed about. I don't know who been getting on your nerves. But listen, give it to God. Now you may say, give it to God how? Simple, in prayer, but not just a little small, faithless pray. Pray from the heart. Pray from the heart. And when you do pray, mention this scripture to God. 1 Peter 5, 7. Say it. Say it when you pray. Say it in your prayer. Want to know the secret to prayer? It's bringing God back his word. God word never fails. So if he said it, he will perform it. Y'all got to learn to include scripture in y'all prayers. Not only will God just hear you, but you will be comforted. You will feel so good after that prayer. You know why? Because his word is living. Every scripture is a living word from God. So when you speak that into the atmosphere, the atmosphere changes. Proverbs 18, 21 says that life and death is in the power of the tongue. So speak the word of God always. And if you love God and you love his word, you will eat that fruit. So yeah, that's my word for y'all. Lay it aside, lay it at his feet. He cares for you. If he can keep up with the numbers of hairs on our head, you think that he doesn't care? Luke 12, 7 says that all the numbers of our hairs is numbered. So before I end this video, I just want to pray for y'all. Heavenly Father, God, I pray that you will use me as a living vessel to speak to your children, God. I pray that they will have the supernatural strength of yours, Father, to go into prayer with full power and authority. God, I pray that when they speak your word, God, that it will fulfill and manifest into their life, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I believe and I'm trusting you for it. I'm trusting you for the deliverance and comfort, Father God. In the name of Jesus, and Lord, I thank you for every viewer on this video, God. And I pray that you will bless them abundantly. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God love y'all. Stay blessed. When God shows you it's time to let someone go, and you refuse to accept it, He will allow that person to hurt you to the point where you have no other choice but to let go. You gave me a shoulder when I The first reason we pray is to invite God in. God's a gentleman. He's not going to invade your life. You're going to have to let him in. The Bible says it like this. Revelations 3.20, it says, Look, I stand at the door and I knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. And we will share a meal together as friends. What we want God to do is be like, Boom, I am the Holy One of Israel, here to clean and change everything in your life. Hey. It's me. Hey, I was wondering today, could I, could I come into your house and clean up some stuff and help you? Oh, no, no, no. You're too busy? Oh, you got a new boyfriend? Okay, cool. I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, yeah, it's me again. J just wanted to see today. I, I heard some whimpering, some crying, some things that aren't settled in your life. Hey, I, I could come in and, and help you. Well, well, no, I have things that aren't fixed yet. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm a carpenter. <laughs> I rebuild things, rebuild lives. As a matter of fact, I come with the cleaning clue called the Holy Spirit. And, and we'll come in and you don't even have to worry. You, all, all you have to do is let us in. And God is standing at the door of your life every day. And he's knocking and he's knocking and he's knocking. And he's saying, when you pray, you invite him in.
So when you pray about your family, about your school, about what college you're supposed to go to, you're not just going to a college because all your friends are going there. That may be the very worst place that you could be. But when you say, God, I need your direction. I need you to help me. I need you to give me peace about where I'm supposed to go. What you're doing is you're inviting God in. Let it go. Whatever it is, let it go. I'm saying that today. Let it go. You are willingly participating in your own suffrage from the things that other people did to you. And I'm not saying they're not wrong, but you are holding yourself captive by not allowing yourself to let go of the thing that God is trying to call you out of in order for you to get your blessing and get to where he is that he needs you to be. I understand that they did you wrong. I understand that situation shouldn't have happened. I understand that you didn't deserve it, but you are responsible for your healing. You are responsible for the forgiveness. You cannot and you will never be able to control nobody else. And that's a fact of the matter and you know this but you can control yourself but you also let go of that control when you allow that person or that thing or that situation to still hold you captive and you're still bitter and you're still angry and you're still mad you have to relinquish that you have to forgive them it's not for them it's for you because you deserve the peace you deserve the healing you deserve to move on and be called in that blessing that god has for you let it go 15 second prayer break Let's go. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just come before you and I pray for the person on the other side of the screen that is emotionally and mentally exhausted by their situation in life, their situations in life. I pray for peace. I pray for wisdom. I pray that you will guide them through this, Father God, that you will give them the tools they need to navigate through this rough situation, Father God. I pray over their situation, Lord. Give them again peace. And it is in the mighty name of Jesus we all say amen. If that was for you, put your name down there. I want to pray for you. Why is it that if they are talking about God, you will skip? Why is it that if you see something about God, you will not want to hear it or read it? God is the one that keeps you till today. He's the one that helps you, that you are alive since today. Just use this one opportunity to thank God for your life. Share this video to your loved ones so that then you can hear about God. Just share about God. It's not all these or good things, funny things that you share. Share about God for once. God is the one that keeps you till today. He's the one that keeps you alive till today. Just share about God. Share it to your friends and loved ones. As you do, may God continue to bless you. May God surprise you this month. Say amen. This is it. This this is going to be your breakthrough this is going to be the moment where you realize that all you need is God you see I just spent like a good 35 minutes praising God and when I tell you he was the Holy Spirit was moving like like I was praising and while like in the middle of it like I just like God was telling me get your get your journal he was like and start writing start writing because I'm gonna speak to you and I'm gonna tell you what he told me and this is a message for you too it says dear child I will and have never failed you this is your brain be strong and courageous I'm the reason why you made it through your sin to get you through every season, trial, and tribulation. You are exactly what you need to be. Keep praising me. I love it when you do it. It's beautiful. Don't don't forget who you are. Don't forget. Don't forget me when I bless you. I'm gonna use you for something so great. I'm changing you. I'm making you shine. Continue to speak and claim that this is your breakthrough. seed of faith that you felt like you didn't have, that you did, is, is, is the exact reason why you're going to receive it. I love you. You're so amazing and beautiful. I know you don't understand, but that's why. That's the whole point. Just keep being humble. Keep reading the word. I don't care how many times you feel frustrated. Give it all to me and I'll take it. I'll take care of it all. I promise. 
Remember, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So keep pushing. I, I see that fire and desire you have for me. So keep praising my name. Keep spending time with me and my Father. We both love you. I'm so proud of you. Never forget that. I'm always proud of you. I've never changed. I've always 